Hello there. Welcome to this channel. Uh, I am Dick van Oeveren and in this video I will show you how to configure a stateless ACL using Aruba Fabric Composer. Very easy, very straightforward. Um, so with the data center networking uh, security, you know, security features, what we can do is we can have stateful layer four firewall security being enforced on the 10K switch, but we still have the option to also create stateless ACLs. Uh, and that's just uh, ACLs that are enforced on the interface. Um, and, you know, you can also filter protocols uh, based on the stateless uh, layer three ACLs. And that's what I'm going to show you. It's going to be a very short video, uh, not too long, <laughs> because it's very easy to set up. Let's uh, get started. Now, before I configure the stateless ACL, obviously we have um, a policy being enforced through the DSM. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove that policy from, um, from the DSMs. I can do that here. Uh, actually, um, so what I do is I will remove this enforcer. Uh, so what I only have is the ingress enforcer, which is still for network 1204. Okay. Um, so any VMs that are on network 1203 should now be able to communicate with each other. Okay, so I removed that one. Just quickly check out PSM here, networks. You can see that the block SSH policy um, is not being enforced on egress, which means that if I go to my 104 host, um, let me just check the IP address here. I'm on 104. I should be able to SSH into the 108 host. Okay, cool. I'm on the 108 host. Now let's create this uh, stateless ACL. I do this in Aruba Fabric Composer. Um, in the policy section here, right? So uh, policy, policy section here. And let's add a new policy. Uh, just call this policy um, it's going to be a layer 3 ACL and I will be adding a well actually I can add an existing rule here because I already have the block SSH here and the any traffic here so I can add those two here okay I can also add new ones, but you know why not use existing rules if they are already there? Enforcing it onto the GVA fabric on the 10K1. Now this is an ingress, right? Because we're talking stateless ACLs now, so ingress. And I also have to select the ports um, and the interface that is connecting these VMs is interface 112. Add and next. Now before I am creating this ACL, let me show you the the 10k configuration. I'm on the 10k. Let me just do a show running. <clears throat> you can see all the all the good stuff in here. And you can also see, so this is my interface 112. There's no ACL being applied onto that interface. And you can also see that there are no ACLs configured here. Now let me apply the ACL. Go back to my switch and just do a show running. And you can see that the ACL is now created blocking some traffic. Actually, it's also blocking traffic from the 204 network. Uh, um, that's fine. I uh, will only be showing the, 
you know, the 203 hosts. Um, and I have a access list being applied onto the interface. Which means that I should now not be able anymore to SSH into the 108. And you can see that it's now being blocked. So in addition to um, using stateful uh, firewall policies, uh, I can also use stateless um, ACLs to still block traffic. The main difference uh, between obviously the stateless and stateful uh, rules or the stateful policies is that with when you redirect the traffic to a 10k switch, you get full visibility of all the flows of everything that's uh, being, you know, uh, processed by that DSM. And you don't get that functionality with a stateless ACL, basically, because you stay on the switch. And that's the main difference. So you can do both. So you can do stateless or stateful. With stateful, you get the full visibility. With stateless, it's very straightforward and simple. You get wire speed, uh, stateless ACLs. Now, before I finish off, let me show you another cool feature that we have in AFC. Uh, what we can do in AFC, we have a CLI command processor, which is really cool because what this allows me to do is it allows me to run CLI commands from the AFC uh, GUI. And so what I can do, for example, is I could do a show access list. And I can run that command. And then what, you know, what it will give me is it will give me the CLI output of that command, which is actually pretty cool. And you can download the results and you can also download the JSON data uh, of these results. That's a really cool feature that we have on AFC. And that's it. That's all for now. I told you that it's going to be a very short video because it's really very easy to set up stateless ACLs on AFC uh, being provisioned, being orchestrated or being provisioned to the, to the switches. Okay. Next is um, a video covering... Uh, like a dynamic, you know, uh, assigning uh, rules to a policy based on the dynamic flow information that we're getting off the DSM switches, of the of the DSM chips on the 10K switches. Um, so, hope you like the video. Any suggestions or feedback, very welcome. And see you next time. Bye bye.